Cell 411 is a great free app for Android and iPhone. It allows you to set up public and private cells for dealing with crime, emergencies, setting up neighborhood watch, activism, and even protecting your kids from bullies on the street or at school. Cell 411 gives your cells turn-by-turn -turn directions to your location with one touch on your phone. There is also a Bluetooth panic button available that can be worn on your wrist, belt, or around your neck. Cell 411 has real-time chat for each alert so you can discuss the incident with family or friends in real-time video streaming. The video is stored on Cell 411's servers so your evidence cannot be deleted if your phone is taken or destroyed. Cell 411 has decentralized ride-sharing that allows for payment in any form – crypto, barter, silver, cash, etc. Cell 411 does not take a cut of your fare. Get Cell 411 free on Google Play and the iTunes Store or go to GetCell411.com. That's GetCell411.com. Like, yeah, there is some lulls over there because you, you got to laugh, too. So Anything about parking so, uh, lots? <laughs> no. 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 No, I, I don't have anything about uh I hear there's lots. a market for that. that. No, there's a... Yes. I hear there's a very sizable market for that. Uh, I think it has something to do with bail money. Parking. I, I don't know how those are connected. <laughs> parking, parking lot memes. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> memes definitely seem to have made a comeback recently. It was, uh, it was nice to see that again. <laughs> I miss those. We are just some modern-day abolitionists looking to rid the world of the last vestige of slavery. Statism. It's the Seeds of Liberty podcast with Andre, Dave, and Jeremy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 138th episode of the Seeds of Liberty podcast. As always, we are covered by a BIPCOT no government license. This allows reuse by anyone except governments and the agents thereof. You can find out more information Please about this Swaziland. at bitcot.org. Hey, you got a new one in that week, this week, Dave. Good job. Uh, so, yeah, we are back. I am Jeremy. That's Dave, as you heard, and uh, joined as uh, always by Andre as well. What's up, guys? Hey, dude. What's going on? Yeah. Chilling, chilling. And we are joined this week by friend of the show, former guest, and the man who saved us from the horribly, horribly, horribly offensive nap offending website, uh, nap breaking website, rather, uh, of our former past, Mr. Paul Gordon eh, from nap, iState nap TV. Nap offending, nap breaking? Yes. One thing. Yes. They're, 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 yeah, nap not breaking. What's up, Paul? How you doing, man? What's up? Good to be here. I'm glad we're recording today because yesterday... I would not have been here. I would have. Uh, I would have been sleeping in bed. Probably slept right through this. Did you catch the flu? No, I have fibromyalgia, and I have these periods at that time. I get it maybe once a month for periods, and then like can go months without it. But if you ever had, I got mono, a pro tip for that. Uh, do you? I got a pro tip for a yeah, yeah. Uh, well, what a surprise food, when yeah. when you tell somebody that you have an ailment, what a surprise that somebody is going to voluntarily submit. No, dude, medical I, advice. I go ahead with the medical they come advice. Hug me and they cry. They're cry. Like I had a lady hug me and cry me, uh, on my shoulder the other day. Told me I changed her so life. So Dave look, hugs. Listen. So you're telling me Dave hugs is the answer. Look, here's the deal. You have lactic acid buildup. That's what causes fibromyalgia. Okay. So okay. You have to get your acid you have to balance out your acid acidity in your body so you need to get like a tablespoon in some filtered water of baking soda in the morning and a tablespoon at night whenever you feel these symptoms rile up you also need to not drink any sugar at all if you need are sugar, you kidding you need me to eat it no You're, i'm not kidding you no sugar you're telling me to get rid of sugar i mean you might as well just that's, tell me to just throw bacon that's out what's causing <laughs> stop eating steak are you are well, you kidding bacon me Bacon does inflame you but i mean oh i, I knew it that i knew it you're one of them doctors i don't trust you already but you know no, what no, no, 10 no. years from I, now they're gonna find out this is all bacon no no yeah. this <laughs> 10 is years from now the sugar 
The sugar causes the inflammation in your gut, and that's what's causing the fibromyalgia. Like, I, go he look at says. He says as he drinks Java Munster, uh, which has got <laughs> no, some sugar in it. No, I don't it. drink sugar, man. I stopped white. a while back. Right. I, I was at 285, and I'm at 193 or 195 now, something like that. So well, I'm more yeah, than you, you look good, except for the beard. <laughs> oh shit! All right, we got to fight. Oh, he's going to oh, shave that tomorrow. Is, I heard. So. This, this has I've been, been doing week. 120 push-ups a day. So all right, this has been your ready. weekly uh, update from Doctor Dave. Thank you, Doctor Dave. Uh, let's move on, though. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to get bogged down this entire show with. I'm not. I'm I not. Like, you don't uh, want the show to become the Doctors of Liberty. I'm not doubting. I just want Paul to be. Less in pain, you know. I, I like the. Guy I want Paul to be less in pain as well, but I, I, and I'm, I'm sure that your remedies may have worked for some people in the He's past. Like, I don't doubt that, but I don't think they work for everybody. Here. So I hate when you just give advice like I'm, this. I'm like, this is what you got to do, Dave. I'm not giving <laughs> well, up I'm sugar, not Dave. You, I'm not telling you to. But give I'll tell up. you, I, I will try the bacon soda thing. Water. I tell you what, I'm going to try the bacon soda thing specifically with water like mixture and drink in it. Like when you drink it, it goes straight to your liver. But if you eat it, like if you eat fruit or even if you eat chocolate or whatever, your body processes it better. So if you have to have sugar, eat fruit, eat, you know, eat it, don't drink it. So I should eat my okay, spoonful. So eat I, it, don't drink it. So I, like I should it. eat my spoonfuls of raw honey instead of uh, dissolving it into my, into my hot tea. Is that what you're saying, Dave? Correct. Yeah. Well, that's a shame because my tea is not going to taste as good without my raw honey. So I'll just live. I'll live. Right, <laughs> right, right. And sometimes, you know, if if, yeah. if the choice is between health and taste, never mind. I won't. Yeah. Paul never Gordon's mind. picking. All right. Early grave. Okay. <laughs> Enough with that. Anyway, uh, it's better to die young and and eat well than to live long and eat like Dave. Oh no, I didn't <laughs> say that. I apologize. All right. All right. All right. Oh, so boy, anyway, if you saw what I ate, you wouldn't say that. So anyway, okay. we have Paul here this week. Uh, we're, we're glad to have him back. And I guess, first of all... Finally! We'll ca- well, yeah, oh. it's been it's been quite a while. We uh, we had... it's. I w- I've been recently going through a lot of our back episodes to uh, try to move them over to Steam It and also to finally dig out content that I have been promising Steam to dig Steam It's out. at an all-time high, by the way. That's exciting. Keep going. But... <laughs> yep. But yeah, so... Good segue. Uh, Although we weren't segueing, no. So. Well, that's well, that well, that's a perfect Dave se- segue then. Ham Yes, I everything. know. <laughs> Dave segues when you're I not Steam. segueing. I Make like a it. Steam account and start <laughs> posting on Steam. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Keep going. And and, re- and and upvote and re-steam our stuff. Great. Anyway, so so yeah, so it has been a while, and you've you've been a you've been a busy man. I was actually thinking about this earlier. Uh, I, I know you're you're constantly. You, Paul, you you constantly have different ideas, and you're always trying different, you know, projects and stuff like that, and trying to figure out what works. And I, I was thinking earlier, it's like I don't know if I know too many people in our, you know, liberty s communities who work as hard as you do at this type of stuff. Regardless of what your results have been, like you put in more effort <laughs> than most other people I know. And uh, so, I, first of all, I want to tip my hat to you because that that is impressive, man. You uh, you you inspire me because I, I get really lazy. And you're always out there trying to figure, you know, trying to figure out what you can do to get to work. And the latest thing you're doing, which uh, I've actually been catching more of in the past than I have, uh, more of now than I have in the past, rather, because you're you're putting it on Steam it where I happen to be spending a lot of time recently, is uh, is (laughs) is the iState TV thing that you're doing with uh with like your your 20 minute headlines for the day. And you're doing that. You got headlines you you may have missed. 20 minutes of headlines you may have missed. Yes. So what led you to this now? Because you've always, I, if, uh, at least as, as long as I've known you, you've been doing all this different stuff, but you tended to do a lot of, you know, video with you, oh, you know, with you presented on it. Now, now you've got this thing, which I don't, I don't see you there. I, I see a picture. I see the nice little picture of you with the, with the top, with, is it, it's a, got the bow tie in, don't you? And, uh, uh, no, I'm not, it's not the bow tie, oh, although I am tie. wearing a bow tie right now, Andre, fight me. Uh, <laughs> I, I could I'm not even, it. even I though could I'm not it. in video, I, I wore it just for you, buddy. So, oh, boy. but uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm wearing it. It's, it's my, strong that's, with this one. <laughs> that is my steampunk outfit that I'm wearing in, in, in that picture. But that uh, the headlines that you uh, may have missed, that's an audio only I mean, I have some visuals, and you—if you saw the show, you know—I have that countdown, the twenty-minute countdown. So there's yes. some 
visual element to it. Uh, but uh, the reason that I'm not in the video is because in the daytime, daytime is really busy for me. And if I have to also worry about, I have to get my outfits on and get the lighting and all that. No, nah, I, I don't want to worry about it. I just want to come downstairs, get in my studio thing. And if I just do audio, it's so much easier, so much quicker to do. So that's why that is uh, only audio. But on iStake.tv, I mean, well, well, basically what I've been doing all along is I, I'm, uh, I'm trying to use the news as a way. This is what I've been working on really before I knew you, Jeremy. This is what I have been working on. I have been trying to use the news as a way to evangelize, if you will, liberty. So I use the news through the news. I, and I'm, I'm kind of uh, honing it down to the type of news that I actually want to want to cover and I'm getting it more and more. So iState.tv has the slogan awareness, hope action. So the first part is there's certain groups of people that I want to reach beyond the Liberty community. I mean, I want to reach progressives. I want to reach conservatives. I don't care who you are. I want to reach you. And there's elements that will appeal to you that if I can get you to see the absurdity of the state that you're in, you know, that's the awareness part. Yeah. So now I've presented you with, dude, you're doomed. You, you're you living in a failed business model. It's going to collapse in on you. And then the next uh, step is, okay, I don't want to keep you in doom. You know, there's a, there's a lot of alternative media out there. And actually, I value this alternative media, you know, like uh, anti-media, Daily Sheeple, I actually write, I get articles sometimes in Daily Sheeple, so I definitely like Daily Sheeple. And like, but, but what they seem to cover almost always is they, they cover the fear, the shock, what's going wrong. And, and, and that part's good to a certain degree. You want the awareness. But then there's the other part. There's the hope. There's so, there's so much news out there that is going on that's outside of whether Trump said Haiti was an asshole or not. Uh, the, there's, there's, oh there's, I, there's, there's so much going on as far as technology is concerned, as far as the experiments that people are engaged in. I don't know if you guys so talk about Rahava and everybody wants to focus on the negative, you know, What's, right, right. So, so then there's, there's Rahava out there, which unfortunately a part of Rahava is now under attack. But I mean, I can't believe that I'm not seeing more people talking about Rahava because you, you want to say, well, nobody's ever tried it on a grand scale. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying Rahava is perfect. And, and Rahava is kind of left anarchism kind of a leaning, but I don't care about that. These folks are actually trying statelessness. There's oh, 2 yeah. million they're, plus they're people. Yeah, there's 2 million plus people, and nobody's talking about them. Even in the anarchist community, I hardly... So, like, on iStake.tv, I, I cover Rojava. I'm looking at Somaliland. Nobody... I don't know if you guys know what's going on in Somaliland. It's, you know, it's the joke, you know, move to Somalia. Okay, I'll go to Somaliland, which is an, uh, it's an imperfect form of... I would say it's less stateless than, than Rojava, but so... Or Rojava, I keep saying Rojava. It's actually pronounced Rojava but uh they they have they have uh most of the aspect of how they govern is not through a coercive enterprise model and nobody's talking about that <laughs> nobody's focused on that so there's there's all these examples around the world of of people actually trying to live liberty so i try to cover that i try to cover the technologies that are emerging china just launched a satellite into space well they no they launched a satellite in 2016 and now they have determined that that satellite will be able to uh communicate through a quantum computing network now it's it's an authoritarian uh regime that's doing it but but it's it's showing this technology this quantum computing uh i won't it, they say it's hack proof i don't think anything's hack proof but it's near hack proof it's near uh, anonymous uh, capable. It's it's a technology that, in the hands of the state, they can use to do nefarious things. But pay attention to the technology because, in the hands of uh, of stateless actors, it could do it could do quite the opposite. I mean, there's so much. I when I cover the news, I go through two, three thousand links a day. 
And, you know, the part that's the politics and the world, that stuff depresses me. But it's only about one third of the type of things that I'm following. All the other stuff, man, it's exciting. I am telling you, the state, the coercive enterprise, is, is, is it's in panic mode because it knows that the oh, two things that it fears panic. most are emerging. They can't, they, it's hard for them to stop it. The technologies are favoring the ability for people to anonymously trade value with one another and to be able to be self-reliant with, outside of the grid. And, and those, <laughs> those are scary propositions for the state. And, and they, I, don't, I don't really, unless technology suddenly changes in a really dramatic uh, way that no one can foresee, so far what I'm seeing, I, it, it, it can't be stopped. It's it's a juggernaut that they they just can't stop. Yeah, something extreme is going to have to happen to to try to stop it, and it'll fail. It'll only cause it to get essentially worse for them, but better for decentralization. You know, well, I'm glad you mentioned. Yeah. I'm glad you brought this up, Paul, because I and you know, I'm sure everybody has had the same sort of idea over the years. Like, oh, I was born in the wrong decade. But take a look around. I mean, we're living in an era where things are changing so rapidly, and so many new and incredible technologies and discoveries are being made. I mean, this is a great time to be alive. This is a fantastic is. time to be alive. It is. And, you know, you think you live in violent times, man. Violence has never been lower than it is right now. Yeah, I the mean, world has never been more peaceful, despite everything going on, than it is at this moment. Yeah, especially if you remove what the U.S. government is doing around the world. Peace. Uh, well, <laughs> well, the U.S. government is doing peace some bad bombs, things man. And killing some... They're kill killing some folks. Yeah, they kill yeah, lots what of they're, folks, what they're doing in Rahava is really ticking me off. And well, what they're not doing in Rahava, and they're just basically the Turks are uh, attacking Afrin right now, and the U.S. government at first, uh, you know, Don, uh, Donnie, Donnie. I won't say that he drew a red line in the sand, but it was like it was kind of like maybe a a, a pale pink. Uh, uh, dot line <laughs> in the sand and uh, uh, I was like don't do it Turkey and then when Turkey starts to do it then they're like well you know we kind of understand why Turkey's don't because you know they kind of you know I, I mean I, I realize that the, these are the Kurds and they've been the backbone of uh, of helping us uh, to fight quote unquote ISIS but but you know go ahead Turkey you know we're, we're not we're not going to do anything fundamentally uh uh, meaningful to help these folks that helped us all that makes years. me truly sad that really makes me truly sad well, of course of the, of the of the one thing he could do it would be to just come down hard on turkey for that but here we are but why would they that would that would be siding against another nation state and that's not going to happen <laughs> well see you know and, and you know that's does that's it another, seem like he cares i it doesn't seem like well, he, he, he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't, obviously he's got considerations, but, uh, but he doesn't have. I mean, he doesn't have unilateral power anyway. And most, you know, he he goes. Donny boy goes shooting his mouth off. Well, no, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about going in there and invading Turkey or sending troops to protect Rayava, but or Rajava. I, why do I want to say it's Rayava? I don't know. But anyway, um, <laughs> well, same same way I keep saying Rahama. Yes, and I'm and I'm glad Rahama. for pointing out the correct pronunciation because I've been mispronouncing it for years now. But uh, I mean, this is. You know Donald Trump, we're talking about. He, he has media powers. He is a human troll. I mean, granted, is, I don't know how how much that would Donald I don't know how Trump, far would go, but, but 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 this I don't think this is Donald Trump. This is this is the uh, you know it's the aggregate response of uh, a bunch of conflicting entities that you call the U.S. government. That's what yeah, you see. True enough. Yeah, true enough. It's the aggregate response and. So far, the aggregate response is, screw you, uh, screw you, Kurds. And you know what's really what's really fascinating to me is how these folks in Rahava. I mean, they're, they're, it's such a powerful model. Like, if if there is some place where liberty is going to emerge, where you're going to have free association governance emerge, you look at how Rajava is handling it, and they have to walk this tightrope. They they can't just be open and overt about their statelessness. I mean, they 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 do have some some statements here and there that are pretty clear. They're for statelessness, but they, they're not, they're not terribly overt about it. They use state type titles for their 
elected offices that they have and uh they're they're very careful and pragmatic in how they deal with the nation states around them i mean there's so many if if they succeed or if they fail there's so many lessons that that we can take from from what they're doing and nobody is paying attention to something like that instead you're going to have hours and hours of debates about the nap and uh you know age of consent that's what you're going to have. So, well, <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. And I don't lessons. even care who I reach. If, if it's not the libertarians, <laughs> if it's not the anarchists, I don't freaking care. I'm putting the content out, and whoever starts to tune in, great. I'll talk to them. Well, it's funny you mentioned learning lessons because uh, I would like to believe that um, the Kurds in Rojava uh, took what didn't work from the free state in Ukraine. And I think applied those lessons as far as, you know, trying to keep up appearances and not threaten the, uh, the sanctity of the, the state apparatus in the, yeah, in the, that's the key. surrounding countries. Yeah. yeah, you can't make it obvious that you're building something that will fundamentally undermine the very coercive enterprise model. You can't do that. <laughs> they, the, if, yeah, they if they, they were doing that, that, they would have been crushed long ago. Well, yeah. I didn't hear you, Jeremy. No, what did I, you say? I, no, it's. I was just making a, a silly joke. But yeah, they. Uh, I, I, I'm actually, unfortunately, woefully uh, underknowledged <laughs> on that whole situation. But it's, it, it, it is, it is interesting to me because you're saying, you know, nobody's paying attention to it. But I remember first hearing about this well over a year ago. I, I believe I remember covering a story on multiple shows when this fir when when this first made news that they were starting to do this type of thing over there, uh, and yeah, it was at least yeah. a year ago I remember hearing about this. So yeah, the, I, I yeah, it kind of it, like that. it kind of fell off my radar after that. So yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm one of those people who isn't paying attention to it currently. So shame on me. But as far as everybody, well, then you should go to iStake.tv, Jeremy. I should. You'll see stuff there regularly. You'll see, you know what? If you you'll go to see some shit, TV, man. <laughs> you'll see hope. You'll see like encouraging I saw some things. real you'll... weird shit over there, man. <laughs> well, there's some weird stuff. And I do have some lulls. Like, yeah, there is some lulls over there because you, you got to laugh too. So, anything about parking so, uh, lots? <laughs> no, 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 no I, I don't have anything about. Uh, I hear there's lots. a market for that. That, no, there's a. Yes. I hear there's a very sizable market for that. Uh, I think it has something to do with bail money. Parking. I, I don't know how those are connected. <laughs> parking, parking lot means <laughs> somehow. Me memes definitely seem to have made a comeback recently. It was uh, it was nice to see that again. <laughs> I miss those. And yeah. So but nice. uh, but what I'm what I'm really you know the other the other thing that I do with how I'm producing the content is uh, you know I have a underlying philosophy that I try to work in. And the you know the underlying philosophy is, I mean, I fundamentally reject the coercive enterprise, and I fundamentally believe in understanding your reality of power, and working to change your reality of power to tilt it towards free associations and individuals. So, so when I'm writing the articles, whether I'm writing just the little blurbs or whole articles, whatever, I'm trying to use language. If it, in a way, I'm kind of like I'm trying to be like the Rajavans in a sense that. Uh, uh, I mean, there are times when I'll use the A word, but most of the time I'll use phrases like coercive enterprise, coercive association. I'll use phrases like free associations and uh, those types of phrases. And th these are the types of phrases that that people, even if they haven't gotten to the point where they can actually comprehend or dare to dream of statelessness, those are kind. Those are the kinds of phrases that I. I think that they can they can relate to and they can understand and and I'm not directly smacking them in the face and fundamentally challenging their identity. Although if they stay long enough, that'll eventually happen. <laughs> no, that's that's yeah. that's interesting. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's I think it's a great tactic, and it's funny. I was actually having a conversation about this sort of thing yesterday with somebody, uh, which it started with the the other individual stating their desire to start trying to make like uh almost like a viral thing of of uh you know words making a comeback like picking a day and having it so like people actually understand defin de definitions of words because you know so many so many problems and disagreements actually arise from the fact that people are talking about two different things using the same word because they don't realize you know they haven't come to an agreement about that and normally I'm all for that but then he this this individual actually brought up 
like words like capitalism and then i started talking about anarchy and i, I was saying that like words like that i actually actively stay away from like you're describing for this for the reason that they already that because most people have this like say you know in those words in particular have this negative perception of them then it's much easier to talk about the ideas and find other ways yeah. to say it and then once they are uh, once you have them agreeing with you about isn't this like doesn't this seem like a better model type like if you get to that point with them then you can like at that point be like oh by the way this is what you know that term that you you know way back in the beginning that we kind of skipped over that you don't really seem to like like this is what you're actually supporting and you don't even realize it so i it's it, like i said it, I, I thought it's great that you brought that up because i was just thinking that yesterday that i i for so long i've been so hung up on definitions and trying to get that out of the way at first and i'm starting to realize that yeah since it doesn't make sense to keep talking to our echo chambers even the ones that have divided uh to me that just seems like a waste of time yeah if you're trying to spread this message the only i guess hope any of us have of seeing any type of change in our lifetimes you know any real change at least or you know at least something like rojava being you know being expanded then we have to talk to the other people <laughs> and it's much easier to talk yeah, to them in, in, ter in turn yeah it's much easier to talk to them in terms that they would understand so yeah i, I dig that man that's really uh it's, and you know it's it's funny i mean i'm sure it's not easy to try to break into like independent media you know i mean we do that we do that to to a small extent by doing podcasts and stuff like that but to actually try to bring the news to people i'm sure that's not easy but well i've been doing it for years no i know before i was a uh, yeah I, I know that so, i mean i ran a local paper for a few years so yeah, I've, I've done this for a while. Yeah, but I'm saying like I think you know it, it, you actually are providing something that is sorely lacking. <laughs> so you would think that you would actually be able to corner this market if you can just get it out there enough, because not enough people are taking that perspective. Well, well, I, 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 the, I, I've had success when I did some conservative things, and I had some success when I did the Tioga Freedomist and had success at that for years. And then uh, 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 the original vision of these conservative things that I was running and the original vision of the Tioga Freedomist, I was no longer aligned with it. <laughs> so it was a big problem. <laughs> when you're not aligned with the vision of what you started, it's, it's a really difficult problem. And, you know, I, I crossed over at some point into anarchotopia, so to speak. And... You know, for, Thanks, for I don't know the first few years, I've been kind of casting about like, wh where 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 is where is, because news is what I do. You know, it's I, I do what I know how to do. This is what I know how to do, and you know, where where is that voice that that that, not just resonates with me, but that that meets a need. You know, you have to build a product that meets a need, and I had tried so many different forms of this news i mean jeremy you remember state of wake i yes. mean i've I gone through a lot of iterations and i really feel like it's only been in the last three months really where i really started to hone in on exactly what it was that i wanted to do and not just that i wanted to do that i felt like that that that, that that's actually not being done i mean there's a million websites out there there's a million news aggregate sites and yes iState.tv, it's it's original content it's also news aggregation it's it's uh i do podcasts uh you know i don't i do the full meal deal but what what i believe is unique about iState.tv is the type of news aggregation that i'm doing I don't, I mean, maybe, maybe somebody will find a site and say, you mean like this? And I'll be like, oh crap. But so far, <laughs> okay, uh, like, what was that? I don't know that there's a site out there that so is aggregating, like report, but better. Well, yeah, but I, I was, it, but it's, yeah, it's not drudge report. Cause it's, 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 I mean, there's, there's certain elements to it that are, you know, okay. Yes. I talk about politics. I can go days on end without call, talking about Trump. I don't make it my business to try to cover the top news stories. Sometimes I do. Most of the time I'm not covering the top news stories. I'm covering when, when I, when I cover like world news or U S news, most of the time it's focused on uh, stuff that is just not being talked about. It's not the stuff that's showing up in your Facebook feed, but that's only like a third of it. The, 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 the rest of it is, is tech and science and philosophy and, uh, 
I, I just, uh, uh, I, I didn't write this yet, but I have it in my queue. I'm going to be writing a story of, uh, about uh, somebody covering its, and I don't even, I, I haven't even dived, dove into it yet, but but I discovered there's this uh, uh, queer anarchist, and uh, I'm not so much into the queer anarchist thing. I'm not interested so much in trying to deconstruct all of our wait genders wait and all that. Are you talking but there's this one element to what this queer anarchist was talking about, which was interesting. And I'm like, okay, well, I want to look at I mean, I, I want to dive into it. I want to understand it. So I'm going to write a little piece on And I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know that I, you know, I glossed over it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's interesting. I'm going to focus on that. So it's, it's, an, it's, it's an aggregate. And it's an aggregate, I believe, that, that will and should appeal to anarchists, libertarians, minarchists, but I, I have friends that are statists, that are conservatives. I have a couple that are progressives, and they go to the site and they say, you know, what I like about the site is it just seems unbiased. And I'm like, this, which is weird, because it's not. I'm not trying to write straight news. This is all opinion, man. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing unbiased about what I'm doing, but that's the impression that they get, and I think it's the impression that they get because the the bias that I do have is so far outside of the paradigm of of what they think of as as political bias. It's not left. It's not right. You read one article and you think I'm a leftist, and you read something else, you think I'm a rightist. I mean, if you come, if you if you go in and you you dive into the gun articles, you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, he's a hardcore conservative until you get to the point where I say, but you know, the whole political. Uh, P political we'll uh, vegan article political there, pursuit no is ridiculous the only effective deterrent to the state taking your guns is is disobedience is is defiance that's it <laughs> nothing else is going to work that part that's where our, the conservatives might leave me but they stay and they stay because well hopefully they stay uh, because there's enough there that okay well, I don't like that part but I still like this part you know yeah. Hmm. Wow. No, it's great. So talk, talk Sorry, talking about technology, <laughs> talking about technology, how far away are we from fusion? Close. From sort fusion? Of close. You mean the singularity yes. or what are you talking about? No, like fusion power. Oh, generation. fusion power. Oh, I, I, I don't know how far away we are from, from fusion. <laughs> I'm, I'm, and actually fusion, I'm not so much tracking right now because it's not like, I, I don't see a whole lot of stuff happening like every day about fusion uh although yeah I'll, I'll, I, I might i might check into it see if there's something more the, the the technologies that i'm primarily following are the ones that i think are like right there already starting to have an impact yeah so there's yeah. there's 3d printing there's mesh networking uh i mean they're 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 close actually they they already have some working you know you, you could print your own medicine i mean imagine <laughs> Imagine I, being I able to print your own medicine. I caught a headline about I'm, that. Imagine the, other the guy day. who comes out. Was it from you? Uh, imagine you the guy who comes out with the OS for all these old smartphones that sets up a, a mesh net off of the, you know. Well, uh, yeah, the, the mesh know, net. Everybody's just got. Oh, yeah, that? that stuff's happening. And well, then there's. Yeah, the, there's, there's, uh, there's. It was there's, happening there's, in China uh, and they shut it all down, though. Yeah, but that's the view. Yeah. Of, oh, and by the way, you know, that's another thing you start to see. Uh, with the with the type of news, uh, the way that I gather the news, I have, I'm not going to tell you guys how I do it. I'm just not going to do it. But trade uh, secrets and all, we got you, it. Trade secrets and all that. So what you start to see though is like, I am telling you the. I mean, you guys, you guys may probably already know, but movements in the world, it's like it's almost instantaneous. When something happens in one part of the world, it catches fire. It's everywhere. And I'm talking for good and for ill. Technologically, as well as, you know, I, I, I mean, I remember seeing the emergence of the social media uh, uh, regulation calls. And, you know, it was isolated. And now it's, it's, it's like everywhere. <laughs> it's, and now they're talking about social media regulation at a global scale and, I mean, it's well, yeah, they're, it's, they're regulated it's, well, yeah. like it's a utility. Well, because on on both sides, well, but of, well, I was gonna say on both on both sides of it, 
th- those situations are are the test beds for everybody else. Whether it's the go- whether it's governments trying to clamp down or certain sectors, you know, whether it's like mass protest or or like the people actually standing up in some way or 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 subverting the government in another way. That e- either one of those that gets taken off that, that picks up elsewhere. Yeah, that's exactly that's that's always how it works. <laughs> we always, we look to everybody. You know, people look to everybody else and go, oh, they're doing that over there. Oh, that's really cool. Let's give that a shot. And especially now with the ability for people to find out this information, you know, instantaneously, essentially. Every, 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 yeah, everyone is much more deeply and quickly connected across, across, across the continents. And, and I mean, the, the elites are deeply connected and they move very fast now. But it's not just the elites; it's everybody else that's deeply connected. But I want to I want to point this out uh, uh, for for folks that may be listening, because you know I, uh, maybe this will be your your big uh, this whole show will be your third act of redemption. There, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, one thing I am seeing is increasingly I am seeing more and more people talking about anarchy, and it's not just it is it's like people are starting to understand anarchy in a nuanced way and they're starting to understand the different types of anarchies and there's conversations that are happening in the washington post there are conversations that are happening i mean it's it's starting to hit the mainstream cue the rock wall meme so is crypto it's happening crypto is as well well yeah crypto is crypto is part of it these these things are happening and and you know crypto well, I was going to say these ahead, these things are happening because exactly what we're talking about because of crypto and you know the other two things on you know, the technology front that you mentioned, Paul, just you know the 3D printing and the mesh networks. Just those two things alone are huge because I've you know I've used a, a mesh network in the past. I've been lucky enough to know people who know how, know how to set that type of stuff up, and I've been able to use my internet in the middle of the woods where I had no cell phone service and it, you know otherwise and it was beautiful. And it was just one of those things. It's like okay, this is possible right now. You know, going back to what we were talking, you guys were talking about it's before happening. about about it's happening about being this being a great time to be alive, and I, I totally agree with that because. I am one of those people who, for the longest time, used to lament that I wasn't born in a different time because I always thought that I should have been, I would have fit better a couple of decades earlier. But now, being part of this and being alive for this, I wouldn't trade it in for anything because it's insane. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, like this I said, is, the three D, the three D printing and the the mesh networks. Those two things alone will be, have the ability, and then throw in cryptocurrencies on top of that. Those things have the ability to shut the power structures down at some point i'm not saying they're all you know that there, there are saviors or whatever but these things have the ability well you gotta throw in blockchain just to well yeah general. yeah just, of course but uh, it's because is huge like you mentioned earlier that you know governments some of these technologies and some of these things governments have a hold of first sure but historically speaking it's the people on the outside who have o- always been able to take it and do more with it as long as they've been able to stay out of the reach of the governments. You know, if they're not executed for trying to do their things or imprisoned or, you know, ruined in some other way, like happens so many other times when you see the like historical battles between inventors and the one that sided with the government and got support from the government and the one that didn't. You know, I'm thinking of like Edison and Tesla, uh, you know, stuff like that. You know, when they, when they, the people who lose, the, the entire world loses out because they're not able to, to actually bring these things. But when they are, when they're actually able to get out there, the governments can't stop them. They can try to, but they're always going to be a step behind because there's just so many more people who aren't the government. <laughs> And that will always be trying to uh, obtain freedom in some way, even if they aren't anarchist in the sense that, you know, you, I, any of us would think of them to be, you know, I've recently. They're not be- going to be anarchists. They're, most of them are not going to be anarchists. What they're going to be are they're going to be pragmatic people that see a way to make their lives easier. To, yeah, and that's what, exactly. as they start to. Yeah, and as they start to utilize these tools, these decentralizing, individual, free association and power empowering tools, tools that lower their cost and improve the efficiency, and it becomes more and more glaringly obvious how inefficient and how costly 
the coercive enterprise products and services are, then they're going to be like, oh, man, you know, they're not going to ideologically reject the state. They're going to reject the state because it costs them too much damn money. Well, exactly. They're just, That's part of a reality of power. Yeah, but they're going to seek more and more freedom, even if it's just for themselves, and they're not thinking it in terms as like somebody like I yeah. would, exa for example. No, I, I agree with you. That's what I, kind of what I was getting at because I've recently started to connect with more people across the world and actually engage in more conversations because I had kind of given up on social media. But now that I'm involved in Steemit and I'm trying to build a name in that community, most of the people I end up coming across are all over the world. And a lot of them have seen our content and have started conversations with me about freedom. And I'm trying to understand what their, what their understanding of it is. And that, that's what I'm saying. They may not be anarchists like we would think of but they're going to be freedom seekers for themselves and if they were able to connect the dots then they might actually end up in a, in a similar position or at least a similar mindset that we have but they're already going uh, so many more people are getting there and now have the ability to get there and it is great because I, I think that is something at least i've be, I, recently i've become more aware of it that more and more people seem to be figuring this out and going no no it's uh yeah i do want freedom this government sucks you know <laughs> like they tell me in their different you know their diff the different ways they say in, in the broken english that comes through in the translation but that's pre pre pretty much the sentiment i've gotten from a bunch of different people from a bunch of different countries and i love it because they these are the you know these are the type of people that we were talking about earlier that you're trying to reach essentially because they're not yeah, already exactly. on, they're not already on our side of the fence. They're not, you know, they're not. Well, you know, plus they can go spread that information into their countries as well. You know, where information might be sparse or being hidden or. Well, yeah. You know, and you know, and it can happen in an instant now. You know, like we've been talking about it. Like it when I heard that our show gets played on radio in Malaysia, I was like. Uh, that's pretty cool. Well, that is awesome. There's one guy uh, out there. Who, that is awesome. I didn't know that. Oh that's yeah, great. no. There, there's one guy out there in Malaysia who has a who has who has a little radio station, but he he found. I think he might have found the fiends first, but he plays a bunch of different show, bunch of different uh, anarchists. Like in our little circle, he plays all of our shows on his radio station out there. It's great. Uh, <laughs> but I I was think you know I, I I've heard like I was thinking of the story Ben Stone's told before about just exactly what we're talking about, how he found out at one point that one of his episodes or one of his series of episodes that he did for his Bad Quaker podcast back in the day ended up going viral in Japan through like an email chain. And, you know, you could just, you could see the numbers like all of a sudden three, I think it was, I think he said it was something ridiculous, like 20,000 in the end or something like yeah, that. He was on, uh, he was on Shane's show recently, Shane Radliff's show, Liberty Under Attack. And uh, he related that story on, on Shane's show. Oh, that's right. He I, has I, me I, blocked. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it was insane. And, and that's all it took is, is getting that information out there. And the message struck a chord with somebody, even if they didn't understand the not just, not just, not necessarily like the language itself, but like you know the language that was being used to you know if they didn't understand that something resonated and that's all it took, and it's just it's that was that was a few years ago. It's even easier now. <laughs> Everything yeah. just travels so much faster, and more people are connected. I mean, despite what a lot of people seem to think about how horrible it is around the rest of the world, it is, but it, it can be in some places. But overall, the standard of living has risen for. A whole hell of a lot of people, thanks to that dreaded word capitalism, over you know over the past couple of uh, hundred years, where everything's been allowed to be a little more free, and that's where we always well, that's where that's where we always see the greatest growth. So I, I think more and more people are it, you can get connected, and I, I th going back to what I was saying earlier about you know the way you're presenting the news to people, you know, with, especially with the language you're choosing to use. I, I think. I, you know, I for one, I'm going to try to adopt that more. As I was having that conversation last night, you know, with with that other guy that kind of triggered that with me, and I think I, w I wish more people would too, because I think it's you know, I think it's time. A lot of us have been in this liberty community. I mean, I've been around for over five years now, and I see a lot of people that I'm like, oh, I've I've been with, been around here with you since the beginning, since since I got here. So. Why are we all still talking into our echo chambers? And why are we still all putting content out for our echo chambers? Like, why aren't we branching out at this point? <laughs> aren't, aren't we secure enough? <laughs> so I think more people should yeah. be doing this. So yeah. I'm, 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 I'm really stoked about your project. And I will be paying more attention. Like I said, I've actually got to watch, you know, now that your stuff's on Steam, but I've actually got to watch. I mean, heck, I got to watch your live show today. Because uh, yeah. I, I happen to be home Head, in time. Head, the headlines you may have missed.
Yeah. Right. Comment that up a well, storm and everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not one that's wedded too much to words. Uh, I mean, I'm a writer, and so it's weird to say that I'm not wedded to words. Uh, I'm not wedded to words religiously. I'm, I'm much more wedded to ideas than I am to the words themselves. And I understand if I'm talking to somebody and they're telling me that capitalism is great and somebody else is telling me that capitalism is coercion, I can understand and believe that both of them are right. One of them is talking about the free market and one of them is talking about capitalism that is married to the state that involves capital from investors that can rely on the state to protect their investments. I understand how they're both saying uh, they're they're using the same word, yeah. But they're they're saying something completely different, and and so what you see, I mean, I I, I participate in those conversations where you fight over the death to what the word capitalism really means, and you go through you know the history of who used it first and what's the context and how is it being oh, used. Oh yeah, God, who the fuck yeah. cares? <laughs> right. I'm like, okay, well, let's let's just not use that word then. <laughs> let's. What do you mean? Let's talk what do you mean by capitalism? Concepts. And let's move from there. And right. We'll, we'll create right. a new I, word I, if we I, have to for the for the sole purpose of this conversation. If it makes everything easier for everybody, okay, great. Let's move on. <laughs> let's just call it blue bunnies. Exactly. Are you for blue bunnies? I'm for blue bunnies. Who, who could be against blue bunnies? <laughs> I mean, come on. Right. Exactly. Who, who the heck? Could well, be actually, blue I guess bunnies? depending on how they're how they're turning blue, I'm sure like. You know, PETA and all those effed up. Now, what do you mean by the wrong, word but... bunny? <laughs> exactly. Well, it doesn't Define really matter bunny, what I bitch. mean. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I mean. It all that matters, matters is if we if we agree for the purpose of this conversation that bunny means uh, an unregulated, unmolested, unprotected, unprotected by coercive enterprise, unprotected. You're still going to have to have one regulation. There are no regulations, so you don't mean unregulated. You mean regulated. <laughs> No, I mean unregulated, because that's not a regulation. That's a standard. Then you're going to have to have a regulation that there are no regulations. Oh. No, I don't. I don't have to have That's not a regulation. It's just a standard. Here, I, and now I we can fight over the word After regulation all of the and standard. In, all, they've, look, they've, in all of the divisions in the liberty community, I found that if we can just agree on the non-aggression principle, all of the other stuff is basically just culture issues. But you're not going to get everybody to what? agree on that. I know plenty of people. I, you're not going to get every okay. Well, see, see, those the are the people the that get thrown from helicopters. That's not true because I don't. Easy? I don't because because there's people you know like Jim Jesus and myself <laughs> and others I know who I, know, I, I who have no a longer, different. Who I no longer hold it to the absolute standard that you do, Dave. So, I, but we, yeah, I, we can I still coexist with everybody else just fine. <laughs> I, I have a different baseline. I want to know your. I'm really all about preferences. I mean, I'm. I always say, stand on your preferences, man. Uh, and I stand on my preferences. My preference is Hell real yeah, simple. Brother. <laughs> it's 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 really really simple. I want to have the I want to have the ability to choose the life that I want to have with, and I grant that I'll never get an absolute to this, but with the least amount of threat of force uh, influencing how I may choose that action. That's what I want. And if you agree to that, I don't care. I mean, we could debate the how the non-aggression principle applies. I, I just applies. want a world where my children aren't going to be slaves. That's it. And what? that we set up a culture where they won't allow any slip back into slavery. So then you may want to hold off on having kids for a while, Dave. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you may, you may, yeah, yeah no, okay. no, you I'm may want to hold not, off on I'm, that. I've, I've took, I've taken off that. That stopped. I'm done with that. But, but see, if you, if you have that preference, then once I know that you have a preference that is similar to that, now we can actually talk about shared standards that actually start to make sense in a semi-objective sense. I don't believe in total objectivity, but. Uh, at least in a in a in a it starts to be able to define itself more clearly and we can start to be good neighbors uh for one another but if the starting point for you is i just want to get what i want to get and i'm willing to do you know i don't i you know i feel like i'm powerful and uh, i don't have to worry about people so messing nihilism. with me i'm going <laughs> to whatever right. well whatever a whole bunch you're of probably things. not going to be a good neighbor because you're not going to see the you're not going from my 
from my preference, I immediately begin to associate the need to have other people be empowered to have that free choice as well. Because the people that don't have that free choice, I believe, are going to turn to violence to try to get it. So <laughs> violence will enter into it. The, the folks that don't uh, uh, share that value. It's not so much violence as it is aggression. Well, whatever you want to call it, violence, aggression. I mean, and, and I understand violence in and of itself is not bad. Uh, but uh, uh, vi uh, in, in this case, I'm talking about uninitiated uh, violence. Uh, but uh, the, these folks are not good neighbors. They're, they're not trustworthy. They're not going to form the same types of standards that would make them good partners in the marketplace. I don't, I don't know if I can rely on them. I don't know that they see the value in being trustworthy and reliable. And being trustworthy and reliable is certainly one of the ways that you reduce the, the, the potential threat of, uh, of uh, violence or, or force, if you will, uh, being used to try to influence your actions. So well, yeah, right. the starting but then, point. Is but then the question. What, but then the question becomes: What do you do with those people that you identify? Right. What, what you, with the people that identify as being, like, in the same, uh, preferential framework? No. Or oh no 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 no. I mean, those those people make good neighbors. I mean, I'm I'm all about making connections with people that share the same system of values I, as I do. I I disassociate as much as possible. I also. So, I mean, depending on the level of threat that I may or may not feel from them, I may hope and hold open some doors to allow for some communication that maybe hopefully will uh, ideationally influence them to move more in my within my framework of preference. Uh, but uh, so that would be it would be a range from get the heck away from them, shut off all doors, build the wall, get the heck away from them, or it could be, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave a connection to them and you know have a conversation with them now and then. Yeah, I think that well, I that's think, fair. Well, yeah, because I think that question is dependent on you know whether we're talking about right now or where we want to be. Because <laughs> because right well, now, even well, right yeah. now, well, right now you don't, right you don't have now much of a choice. Still, so you, well, you can you could disassociate, but right now you you know unfortunately you have less recourse. I'm than you I'm, would. I'm I'm striving for private cities protected by autonomous drones. That's that's okay. that's going to be the. Uh, okay. Yeah. Start from the bottom up. You got to go from the bottom up, guys. Okay. Yeah. Good luck with McJ that. Dams. Yeah, I McJ Dams. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the Dams, drones. But... Yeah. Anti-aircraft, yeah, all of it. Private private communities, I'm, I mean, I'm all for. That's essentially, I, I've talked about it in the past. That's essentially what I'm going for by trying to get out of New York State and relocate to somewhere where I have more opportunity and more land. And I could do the things that I really want to do, but I also want to set up, I'm trying to set up a, a community out there. I'm specifically going to a place where I'm already going to have people that I know that already share those, sh uh, share a lot of the same values that I do, which, you know, which is why I'm going there. And we're hoping to get something set up so we can have more people come. So, you know, I I'm all for that, you know, whether it's a city, whether yeah. it's a little community, whether, whether it's whatever. I, I don't, yeah. And I, I don't know what, I don't know what anarchotopia looks like. I don't know what type of governances people will use or structures or cities or towns. Um, this is why, like, I really focus on power. I really focus on uh, the degree to which power is distributed. And for me, power is, I define power simply as uh, the ability to influence action, whether it's your own or others. And you influence action through four uh, in four main spheres, there's there's demonstrable action or dem demonstrable influence. I can do I, I do something which is really awesome, and you're like, oh, I want to do that. Or I do something that really sucks, and you can see how much it sucks, and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, there's uh, social uh, influence, which is you know like peer pressure, whether it's good or bad. And then there's ideational influence. I'm going to adopt certain values, mores, whatever the case might be. And then there's there's force. And the degree to which that that these types of powers uh, favor individuals and free associations, and they're distributed, then you'll see actual free association experiments emerge. And so I'm working towards what does it take to distribute that power and to make it more difficult for 
coercive enterprise type models, coercive enterprise influence to uh, affect people. So I don't really, I, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about, well, what's it going to look like? I don't care. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> uh -oh. I, I, Silence? I, no, I, yeah, I don't. No. It, well, I mean, it's, there's really not much to say other than, you know, I, I agree with you. It's not really the, the form. It's the, the underlying foundation that, that we get to. Right. Cause I mean, you know, whatever, yeah, whatever consent, free people choose really. to do with each other is whatever free people to choose to do with each other. As long as there's certain, you know, very basic and foundational rules that are adhered to. And, and, and I believe that those rules will naturally emerge wherever the reality of power makes it necessary. I, I, I agree with you. And on that note, uh, we probably should get wrapping up. I'm looking at the time. I know. I know you have to go run off to do another show in a little bit, uh, Paul. So yep, I do I'm wanna... doing his daily Thursday with uh, Lou Sander. I just can't imagine Paul running. <laughs> I I have I have I there was this one time in 1996. I ran. <laughs> right, well, we'll have to save that story wow. for another time, but. Uh, so, but before we do get closing out, first of all, uh, th this was great, Paul. Uh, thanks for coming on, and uh, I'm I'm glad uh, I'm gl I'm glad you came on, and, and we had this particular conversation. I thought this was was really uh, insightful. I I, I, en I enjoyed just sitting back and taking part in most of it, just listening, because I I think these are I think these are good ideas, and I'm I'm glad you're out there, you know, running with this project, uh, and I I hope I, I hope to see it succeed. So please, any closing thoughts, and of course, plug 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 away before we get going. Yeah, just. Just go to iState.tv and remember that uh, the people who need to control you need to control the news. So whenever you're reading the news, uh, bear that in mm -hmm. mind. And if you want to uh, uh, take in content, whether it's the writing or the audio or the video uh, from uh, so far, just me, I'm hoping to bring other people on eventually. But if you want to take in uh, news with an opinion, from someone who has fundamentally rejected coercive enterprise models, go to iState.tv, where you'll find you'll find awareness, you'll find hope, and you'll find action. You no change, just though. Be... Just hope, right? No change. Right. No, right. right. <laughs> oh, no gosh. change. No change. You won't just be inundated with fear porn. Well, that 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 alone Paul is, Rock, is a great. Paul Rock, Osain, Obama. <laughs> That alone no, is a selling no, I, point. I, I, Not the Obama thing. Right. The, yeah. <laughs> Not the Obama thing. The, no, we, we, we do have some what you could call fear porn because you have to, you know, that's the awareness part. But it's Of course, of course. I understand. Oh, well, any, any, anything less than what's normally out there is already on the right track as far as I'm concerned. So. Yeah, it's, it's significantly less, yes. Excellent. Excellent. All right, great. Dave, Andre, anything before we get going? Uh, no, Thank this you was so a great interview. Thank you so much for coming on the show, for, Paul. Yeah, thank you, thank that's, you for that's having all me. I was fixing to say. Yeah, and you guys know I'm actually a fan of the show. I listen. I can't say I listen to every episode, but I probably listen to about sixty percent of them. Uh, and I do enjoy the show, and you enjoy what you guys do. Well, thank you. Well, I'm oh, glad you. to hear thank that. You. Appreciate it, my friend. I uh, I I catch you. I don't go on Facebook much, but when you were going live, I I would go in there and like and uh, comment and stuff. I'm. Uh, yep, I've seen you a few times. I boycott Facebook now. I'm done with it. So you've said, but I keep seeing. I'm actually, there. I'm actually, uh, uh, you know, is daily right now uh, is is on the Facebook platform, and I'm I'm working out in my head, maybe possibly changing. Uh, I, it'll probably take me a few weeks to figure something out, but I'm I'm thinking my days using Facebook Live are numbered. Maybe shift to D Live. It's on they, it. they bury. I, yeah. I'm going to check into that. I'll check into a number of things. And yeah, I, I looked at YouTube. Recently. Check into PewTube as well. P E W T U B E. It's PewTube. Oh. Okay. Well, I, I would just say I, I just mentioned D Live because I know Paul's already on the Steam It platform. And, you know, there's a. Uh, there, there's i don't know i think there's a lot of opportunity there i think i think this year is going to be a big thing whether whether the price of steam goes up or down i mean i think it's going to go up because i think people more people are going to find the value in it but with all the other side projects that are popping up with that i i think it's you know i think it's perfect for you especially if you're looking if you're looking to leave facebook live uh you know why not check it out oh yeah it's on my list of uh, of things to check out Definitely. Also, uh, the the D sound or whatever, because yes. I definitely want to build an audio only audience as well. So, 
Yeah. Back, yeah. Well, back, like back, I, back, I was back. telling you earlier, we, we, I just recently started doing that with all of our episodes, uh, all of our back episodes on the Seas of Liberty. Cause as we've mentioned before, we've recently started using the steam it for the, the for Seas of Liberty as well. And, we have a lot of content to go through. Jeez, I forget. I forget how much there is sometimes until I actually have to sift through it and and repost it somewhere. But I've you know I've been shifting everything over there and you know with updated links and all that stuff. So it's a heck of a lot of work. But it's I, I don't know. I, I think for people like us, you know, especially if you're looking to get something out there that can't get taken down, <laughs> they're great platforms yeah. to go to. You know, and you have the yeah, oh, yeah. get it on the yeah. blockchain. You, yeah, yeah yep. you, and you have the ability to put up whether you want to do video, or just video or just audio and now you're going to have the ability to, to go live i mean i'm sure there's going to be a, a lot of bugs in the system because I, I think that only re- launched somewhat recently and you know i'm sure there's going to be bugs like there are with everything else there but they'll figure it out so definitely uh check check out paul over there as well uh what do you run under what's your uh do you just run under paul Go- gordon over there on steam at paul I'll play. I think it's just Paul Gordon. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll throw. I'll, I think it's just Paul Gordon at Paul Gordon. Well, he's got a secret yeah. account, but we're not going to talk about I'll that. Throw, I'll throw the. Uh, <laughs> I'll throw. Well, out, I do have eight Facebook accounts. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll throw out the uh, <laughs> links in the show notes. Amateur. For, for everything. Anyway, yeah. So anybody who isn't but there, you know please of. please go check out our stuff over there too. You know who is who hasn't uh, hopped over to Steam it. I, at this point, I don't think I don't. I figure why, I, I don't understand why anybody wouldn't if you haven't already. Especially if especially if you're looking to get into crypto and you know you want to get stuff. You know you want to get crypto without putting any money in. Well, here you go. <laughs> okay, Jeff Berwick. All right, thank you. Hey man, <laughs> they pay you to yeah, post. Yeah, yeah. rock on. <laughs> they really do. Anyway, so thanks again, Paul. This has been great. Uh, this has been the Seeds of Liberty podcast. All of our information, except our statement, can be found at the page that Paul helped us create. Well, Paul pretty much created <laughs> solpodcast.org and Patreon up and running. Uh, another one just came out a couple days ago, and I already have the next one loaded up and scheduled to release next week, too. So, you know, if you haven't become a, pa- Patreon, a patron yet, please consider doing so for as little as it's just a dollar a month. You know, we were talking about that a couple of weeks ago. Danilo used to try to get a dollar an episode from from people for our show. I always thought that was One ridiculous. Dollar. We just want a dollar a month, and then you can check out a whole bunch of stuff. Or send us some crypto. And we're oh yeah, we got we have we have that option too. But I don't know. I think with this theme, and especially with the episodes I've been putting out lately, I've I've been finding some pretty funny stuff from our early days. Like the audio quality may not be the best, although most of it's more than listenable. Uh, you know, at least after the first couple of episodes, which were already I've already blown past in the Patreon stuff. But there's some pretty funny conversations with guests we've had in the past that I totally forgot about that were just like in the beginning of a show. And I don't even know if they remember that I, we were recording at the time. But there's some great stuff that, <laughs> that I'm finding. So definitely consider checking out uh, Patreon slash Seeds of Liberty and throw in a buck at us, you know. I guess even if you just want to throw a buck at us and then bounce the next month, but still listen to all the content before you leave, whatever. At least you can check it out. So anyway, this has been the Season Liberty Podcast once again, and we will catch you next time. Peace. Peace in the Middle East. Okay. Oh, peace. VR sound on a cat food budget? Creamy Radio Audio by the Freedom Fiends has great free tips so you can sound like a pro without spending like one. The most powerful form of human communication is one person speaking to another. But if people have to suffer through your sound, they'll change the channel and miss your message. Creamy Radio Audio will help you speak to the world with sound that will make people want to keep listening. Check out CreamyRadioAudio.com. That's CreamyRadioAudio.com. Gun Training with the Non-Aggression Principle, Volume 1. Basic Handgun and Rifle with Jared Waltz. First rule of being alive is you own yourself. 
a groundbreaking approach to firearms and self-defense training. Beautifully filmed and easy to understand instructions make this one a must-have. Gun Training with the Non-Aggression Principle, Volume 1. New DVD from Michael W. Dean, available on Amazon. Yo,